hi guys welcome back to the channel and i'm going to show you how you can set up a jenkins pipeline where you have to use pole scm for build schedule so i'll show you how you can use pole scm for build schedule so pole scm is basically a type of scheduling where the builds get built once there's a change in a repository so pole scm will uh, continuously check out your repository and if the, if it detects any kind of changes in a repository then it will start the build so we can actually choose a schedule for the pole scm if i choose that uh, pole scm needs to detect the changes every one minute then it will detect the changes in uh, the repository every one minute and if it detects a change then it will start the build process for the repository again all right so i'll show you how you can set up a pole scm uh pipeline in jenkins so you can go to new item then you can just select any kind of uh, any name and then select the pipeline type here now i'll create this pipeline and now go down you can see the option for poll scm so i'll cl click on poll scm and if uh you can choose the schedule here for the schedule format you can uh, click on the question mark right here and you can see that we have five uh, inputs here minute hour, date of month month and then date of week so if, if i choose star 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 so that means uh it will uh, automatically schedule that every minute because that just means every day of the week every month of the week every day of the month and then every hour and then every minute so the star means all of the possible cases so this also gives us a warning that do you really mean every minute yes i mean every minute so i'll just keep it for the testing purposes if you if some you want to test something like five every five minutes then you can keep it slash five which means that the schedule will run every five minutes for now i'll just keep it star for testing purposes so i can show you the demonstration quicker quicker and now i can see uh, i'll just go down and select the other configuration for us so we just need to have the pipeline script for him from scm and i just select the repository right here i'll just choose the scm as git keep the repository here for the credentials i'll just leave it as none but if your repository is not public if it is private then you don't need to have the credentials for your repository so for the credentials you can click on add and click on jenkins and then you can click on username with password type uh uh username with password type of jenkins credentials or you can also click on github app type of uh credentials for the username with password you can click uh, you can just write your username of your github account and for the password you can write here the app token which you can create in your github account uh, from the account section all right so if but if, if your repository is public you do not need to have the repository credentials right here all right so now i'll just set up the branch here which is the main branch and i think i'll just keep every other thing as it is for the jenkins file path i'll just keep it jenkins files jenkins file because the jenkins file is located at the root of my repository only right here all right so i'll just click on save and my pipeline has been created so now the jenkins server will auto uh, will periodically check my repository every minute and if there are any changes it will build the repository jenkins file again well so now i'll just create a change here in my app.pf file this is just a test flask application so i'll just mm, do something like print hello and i'll commit that change all right so i have committed that change and in here i should see the build processing in around one minute and as you can see we have the build right here so the jenkins server automatically de detected the changes in my repository because it periodically runs the checks every minute and checks if there are any changes if any changes are detected then it will run the build again for our jenkins file well so as you can see build has been completed now i'll just wait a couple of minutes and then again make a change in my repository and i'll show you for the proof that it actually runs whenever there's a change in the repository instead of running every time uh every time scheduled like we did previously in the build in the run scheduled section of pipeline all right so we'll just wait for a couple of minutes and then i'll show you how it runs actually based on the changes in repository all 
all right so it has been a couple of minutes now and now as you can see there are no current builds after the first build because there has been no changes in our repository but the jenkins server is constantly checking for changes every minute as scheduled in the poll scm scheduling all right so now i'll make some changes in my repository again so i'll i have this file i'll edit the, edit this file and then i'll just remove this statement right here and just click on commit changes all right so i've made the changes i have some changes in my repository so the jenkins server should be able to detect those changes so it detects the changes every minute so we'll just wait for some seconds and i think it should be able to detect, detect the changes and then build the jenkins file again according to according to that you can see we have got the second build running here as it has detected the changes inside our repository if i go to the git polling log then it you can see it says changes found and also it if i go to the build here and then i see the changes i can see there are changes in app.py commit number this and by no reply because i committed that anonymously so for the console output this is the exact output which you would get by running your Jenkins file inside your repository right here. All right, so that's how you can basically set up a Pole SCM pipeline inside your Jenkins server, which would run uh, periodically and check for changes inside your repository. And if there are any changes, it will run the Jenkins file build again for you. All right, so this was the pipeline, Pole SCM pipeline, and that's it for the video. So thanks for watching.